Hey, what's up, guys? Nick White here. I do tech coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. Check the description. You can see all my information, where to follow me, where to do whatever, you know? I'm um, explaining all these problems on Lead Code, Hacker Inc., these platforms, because people have a tough time understanding the code, so I'm here to explain it to you. Uh, this is a tree problem called lowest common ancestor in a binary search tree. Problem 235, easy problem. Um, if you don't know what a binary search tree is, or if you don't know what a tree is, a tree is a bunch of nodes. A binary search tree is a tree where each node can have zero, one, or two children, right? Binary is a base two number system, so you can have up to two children. You can see that six has two children, a left and a right, two and eight, and then, you know, zero has no children, right? Um, a tree node has a value. It has a left and a right child. If, the, if, it has, if uh, the tree node has no children, then the left and right will just be set to null. Okay, very straightforward. So what's the problem? Well, we've actually done this problem before. Lowest common ancestor binary search tree. We did it on hacker rank. So it was the exact same thing right here. Uh, given a binary search tree, find the lowest common ancestor of two given nodes in a binary search tree. Thank you for following and subscribing. Um, uh, the, so we just want to find the lowest common ancestor of two nodes. So we get two nodes and we get the root of a tree. So this is the root of a tree and we could traverse this tree, right? With the root, we can traverse it. Uh, we have two nodes. What is the lowest common ancestor? Well, basically it's the node that is the lowest ancestor of two nodes, right? So let's just look at these examples, right? It's the, by definition, it is uh, the lowest common ancestor is defined to be is defined between two nodes, P and Q is the lowest node in T that has both P and Q as des descendants. Uh, whatever, right? Given a, So here's here's the tree. We have nodes two and eight, right? Two and eight. What is the lowest ancestor of two and eight? Well, an ancestor is above it, right? You think of your ancestors, right? Your grandma, your grandpa, ancestors, they're above you, right? They were older. Um, so the only one above two and eight is six. We want the lowest one. So if there's a million of them above two and eight, Six is the closest, so we want six. Two and four uh, is another example, right? The answer is two in this case, because a descendant, the ancestor could be itself. They're allowing that in this case. So if you read this description, right, it's going to say two and four is two, since a node can be a descendant of itself. I don't really, that's weird, but it's fine. You know, I'm not a descendant of myself. Am I? No. Okay. Uh, anyway, right, if we're thinking of just a couple other ones, right, so let's look at a more advanced one. Three and seven, right? Lowest common one between three and seven. Well, you gotta, you gotta think, uh, you know, all the way up to six. I'm pretty sure, right? Because you, you know, up, boom, boom, boom. All right, let's think about three and five is four, right? Three and zero is two, right? Because four isn't an ancestor of two. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Just look through a bunch of these examples, right? Okay, let's do the problem now. It's a recursive problem. It's pretty simple. The intuition here is basically you have the root and you have these values, right? So if you're getting two and four, we're starting at six. Well, we have to at least find where these nodes are so that we can find the ancestor. So we have to start traversing towards them. So to traverse towards them in a binary search tree, the nodes that are less are on the left side, the nodes that are greater are on the right side. So what we're gonna do is just, okay, if um, p.val, is uh, less than uh, root.val and q.val is less than root.val. We're gonna traverse down the left side. So this is gonna be a recursive call to the left node. So we're gonna return the method lowest common ancestor on root.left, the left side, because it's on the less, less than left side. And we're gonna do just p and q again. We're just traversing down the left side. Uh, this is the same thing now on the right side, right? Uh, so if the values are greater, we're going to look on the right side. Traverse towards them. And easy, simple problem, as simple as it gets, you just return the root. So basically what happens is, okay, think about it. Two and eight is an example. If one is on the left and one is on the right, that means that the parent is in between them. So if both of them aren't on the left side and both of them aren't on the right side, if both aren't greater or less than the value you're currently looking at, that is the ancestor. That's the lowest common ancestor. So you return it. So neither of these will get hit. If you get two and eight, 
Six is the root. Both of them aren't on the left. Both of them aren't on the right. So it's obviously that's the ancestor. You return it. Otherwise, you traverse towards it. So like in two and four, you're looking for two and four. Both of them are on the left. So you traverse and you hit two. Okay, now are both of them on the left or both of them on the right? No. So you return root two. Boom. It's easy. It works for any single thing. You're seven and nine. Okay, seven and nine. Both of them are on the right. Hits this condition. You look, you hit eight. So you're at six, then you both are on the right. You hit eight. Look again. Up. Oh, these don't get hit because the one's on the left, one's on the right. You return root. Boom. Eight is the common ancestor. Looking for any of them. Zero and three. Both are on the left. You go to two. Uh, that's it. Bo not one. Both of them aren't on the left, both are on the right. So you return two. Okay, all you can do all, as many cases as you want. That's it. Very simple um, problem. Uh, that's pretty much it for this video. Let me know if you have any questions about trees or whatever, but pretty straightforward. Maybe I definitely was a lot smarter in this video. I was really trying really hard to study, so maybe I do a better job explaining if you're having a tough time. This is the exact same question with the same parameters and everything function just on Hacker Rank. So uh, check this out if you want more clarification. I go into more detail there. Um, so thanks for watching for this video. Like and subscribe so I can grow my channel. Very straightforward solution. And uh, yeah, that's it. See you in the next video. Peace.